What's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm going to take you out through the journey how we made just over $8,000 in seven days using just one of our trucks. So go ahead and like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Things that I couldn't have. I've done a lot of things that I shouldn't have. Yeah. But I live with no regrets because I wouldn't. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, CEO Caleb, and we're back again. Check it out. Again, we got loaded up with this load going from Atlanta, Georgia, out to Alexandria, Minnesota, about uh, two hours north or northwest of Minneapolis. But, um, y'all, this load was paying. 30, I think $3,600 for some cardboard boxes to Minnesota. It's like 1,200 miles. But you know your boy had to jump on that. Then I got a load coming back from Minneapolis, Minnesota, back to Georgia. It might be like a $6,000 trip, y'all. Had to jump on that. Um, I ain't even been OTR in a minute, really. I've been doing a lot of local stuff around Atlanta. I got drivers, but... I'm gonna have to, um, I put my drivers on one truck running day and night now. Cause I've been running day and night with this truck. And my other driver, he's, you know, he was just running Amazon every single night. And he was running day when he had available hours. But we mixing it up a little bit this week cause I had to get this money. But helping a friend out now, picking up some lumber. So picking up some good old lumber from a lumber yard out here. And uh, I'm gonna drop it off at like for his job site. So yeah, he's gonna pay me a nice little grip of money. So you know, um, I already had thirty six hundred dollars on here, so I'll probably make another, uh, you know, thousand dollars or more off a little easy local runs around Atlanta, helping out my partner, dropping off some two by four, sixteen by whatever the heck. <laughs> All right, just waiting for them to get this other load together so I can get the hell out of here. So I can rest up before I jump on the road tomorrow morning to Minnesota. But uh, check out here in a second. Just dropped off uh, some of the lumber at my partner's spot here. That lumber sitting right in the middle. Getting a hot, nice little house getting built here. But on to the second spot. So here we go to stop number two. We're just going to take these uh, two by four by tens. And we're just going to put them over here. Put them over there somewhere. Ain't nobody here, so... Gotta do the work myself. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Let's get to it. All right, YouTube. Now we're at our final drop. And this one, uh, gonna unload all this stuff. So my partner is getting some work out of me today. But um, he's building these two houses right over here. I'm just gonna put it in one house over here to the left. So, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and knock this out. And... Uh, then I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm starving. But uh, let's get this out the way. Here we go, YouTube. We are about four hours into our trip to Minnesota. And what do we know? Hit traffic. And this is like really the, the only major city I'm gonna go through. And I was expecting to hit traffic here. And this is Nashville. We are right outside Nashville, um, Tennessee. But, uh, we're gonna push through this traffic and we're gonna keep on rolling. Um, so, you know, this is probably about total 19 hour trip, but um, so it ain't too bad. It's gonna take us two days to get there, of course. You know, it's things like 1200 something miles. You know, I'll figure out what the total is at the end of the video. I'm gonna do a little recap, but uh, we rolling, y'all. Rolling on through Tennessee. Got through the mountains. You know, as soon as you get into Georgia, Tennessee, you know, went too bad beating the truck up but uh, we're gonna keep on rolling and we're gonna be on our way YouTube 
Day two of our trip, stopped in Illinois, right outside St. Louis, at my grandma's spot. Saved money on some hotels. But uh, look at the weather out here. They had seven inches of snow just like two, three days ago. But they cleared it up pretty good. Thank God, he's been trying to ride on no ice, but uh, we're gonna keep on rolling. Got about 10 hours before I get to my destination. Probably got stopped for a 30 minute break. Well, definitely got stopped for a 30 minute break, you know, the hours of service, but uh, we're gonna keep on rolling. What's going on YouTube? Out here in Minnesota. Just checked out the hotel. Um, getting ready about 20 minutes from the drop. It is cold out here. Woo! It's cold out here. Just letting the truck warm up a little bit. We're gonna head down the road. 20 minutes to, to drop off and then another two hours to pick up and then we headed back to Georgia. Um, I drop off these cardboard boxes, man. They paid $3,400, $3,600 for some cardboard boxes. Crazy, right? But uh, we here in Minnesota and we're about to go drop. YouTube, so we got unloaded at our first, at our drop. Now we're picking up our round trip load. Um, we made it a round trip load. I'm about to back in there. It's about to open up the back real quick. Uh, it's another load. I think I'm picking up nine pallets going back to Georgia. You know, so easy peasy. Just going back in and let them get me loaded up. This is it. Got nine pallets all in there. Easy peasy. Easy work. And that's that. receiver it says I'm supposed to go to M1, 2, and 3 we here at Fox Factory last time they sent me to the other side over here with this uh, UPS truck coming from but uh, we'll see we'll see what happens when we get up in here we'll just pull up in here and um, go check in and um, make it happen last time I tried to check in it was like 8 o'clock at night and I was waiting, knocking on doors, and they was just one coming. I had to flag somebody down. But uh, we'll see what's up. So here at the drop, went in there. As I was walking in, another trucker who's back there to the duck said, yo, tell him 17 hours is long enough. I said, what? You know, I didn't really know what he meant. But then when I went inside and talked to the people, they told me it's gonna be at least a three hour wait. And it was like, oh, man, they didn't have no space in there at all. Like it's just stuff everywhere in front of the doors, like, you know. So I went back out and told the guy, yeah, they told me three hours. And he said, yeah, they told said they had no floor space. I said, yeah, that's true, cause it's a mess in there. So I'm about to go to IHOP, get something to eat, um, start this detention, pay up. Not the way I really wanted to start it my day. I thought I'd be in and out with an hour, cause literally, man, these pals are so small, you could probably just stack all six of them on top of each other, but and I know the old buddy in the semi truck next to me on, um, and I'm telling what he got in there. But uh, we're gonna go to IHOP to get something to eat, though. This is Atlanta, Georgia, y'all. Traffic, traffic, traffic. But uh, after sitting around for um, six hours, I finally got unloaded, and now I'm trying to get back to the house. It's a few exits away, but it's gonna take me forever to get down here. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. But uh. Y'all just enjoy this beautiful view of Atlanta as we coast along 7585 southbound. All right, YouTube, let's get into the recap. So we ended up doing a total of five loads over that seven day period. Um, they're pretty much totaled close to or actually just over eight thousand dollars. So um, two of those loads was Amazon loads. Another two was from a broker, um, and one was from one of my friends who happened to be a real estate developer where it was just pretty much contracted us to deliver at his um, job sites. So um, I did, what is it, three of those loads, and I had a, dr a driver do another two. So that's kind of how it broke down. So just those loads were all done with one truck over a seven-day period. And that uh, Minnesota to Georgia, well, Georgia to Minnesota, and then Minnesota back to Georgia ended up being a round trip um, that the broker was able to get for us, which was great.
So on the first day, um, our driver ended up doing an early morning run with Amazon, which totaled $662.79. And then we rolled in that same day to picking up the load that was going to Minnesota. So the load going to Minnesota picked up in Flowery Branch, just um, yeah, about an hour north of Atlanta or, or less. And um, it actually was going to Alexandria, Minnesota, just a little two hours northwest of Minneapolis. And it was paying $3,500, which was a nice run for 1,200 miles. We also made $900 on that uh, run for that we was contracted to picking up from the lumber yard, dropping off at the job sites for those three houses that was being developed. The reason we was able to pick up those, those loads from the lumber site and drop off at the houses was because we was only using half the truck. So we did that on Friday since we picked up the load on Thursday and we didn't leave out till Saturday morning because the load wasn't due till Monday morning. So I knew it was going to take two days to get there. So we end up uh, deciding just to leave out on Saturday and get there Sunday night and be ready for the drop Monday morning. So Monday morning, we dropped off and then we picked up the load from Cambridge, Minnesota, which was going to Gainesville, Georgia, and we end up getting paid Twenty-seven twenty for that, and that's because we had uh, six hours. It took six hours to get unloaded, so we ended up getting paid four hours of detention pay on that. So it was four times thirty. It was extra one twenty. So, uh, guess that's you know kind of a plus. And then we end up getting the Amazon run in for two hundred eighty-six thousand seven cents that evening. So this was probably our best week with a box truck. Um, just getting over eight thousand on the week and a big part of that was the round trip load or i call it the round trip load where we picked up in georgia to minnesota minnesota back and uh you know going into it i wasn't really expecting the broker to actually make it a round trip load for us you know i just took the initial load because it was 3500 dollars on 1200 miles you know um i said i'll be able to find something back you know, by the end of the week, coming back to Georgia, but the broker actually lucked up and um, found another load, which was actually the same load that a, a client of ours actually did just earlier that week. So the only reason I got thrown on this load was because the client of ours went to go home instead of, you know, go back to Minnesota. He actually had just came from Minnesota. He just ran that same lane, you know, for thirty five hundred dollars from Minnesota to Georgia. And he didn't want to go back because he wanted to go back to the Northeast, New Jersey. So uh, I said, hey, if it's, it's paying so good, I didn't want to pass up on it. So we ended up jumping in a truck and, you know, getting it done. And, you know, since we only had half the truck, we was able to, to, you know, throw that lumber on there and get that dropped off. So, you know, that was great. And um, so that kind of really made the bulk of the run. So really the key to getting you know, lows like this is just building relationships. If you can build relationship with, you know, with a broker with, with within a brokerage, you know, that's good because they can just find you lows before they hit the low boards or, you know, they'll call you first when they have lows in certain areas. And that's kind of how, you know, we've gone about things. And usually we get lows consistently throughout the week because of relationships we built. So that just kind of a tip is just, just continue to build a relationship after you run a load you know, with, with those brokers. But, um, you know, it's a pretty good week. And uh, hopefully we can crank a few more of those out this year. But, um, yeah, if y'all made this final video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And stay tuned um, for future videos.